Hey, what's going on guys? It's GCP here, playing some Black Ops 3 yet again. Gonna be using the Razorback. This gun is a beast in hardcore. I'm playing it, I know, in TDM, just regular TDM, but in hardcore, this thing is an absolute monster. I absolutely love using it. Actually, in fact, I thought I was playing hardcore, but uh, it ended up being regular TDM. That's why I was like, huh? When I started using it and playing TDM, I was like, why aren't they dropping as fast as I thought they would? So that's one of the funny things behind this gameplay here. But managed to get actually a decent score. Um, even though this gun does put in a lot of hit markers in regular TDM, I'm still able to do somewhat of work with it. I was able to put in a little bit of a uh, little sweat and tears. Maybe not tears, I didn't really cry. <laughs> Except when I died in certain places. I died a total of seven times in this gameplay. Um, I forget the total number of kills, but it was in double digits. So, and whenever you have double digits in kills and single digits in your deaths, you have a great gameplay. And those are basically, for the majority of the time, my standards when it comes to YouTube. Anytime I have double digits and single digits in deaths, I pretty much consider that gameplay. But anyways, with that all being said, I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week so far. A lot of you guys have been noticing that I've been more consistent in my uploads, or trying to be at least, because, I don't know, I just have this newfound motivation. When I came back from Atlanta, we've been going through a lot of like self-development talk, um, and I've never really had that self-development kind of mentality until I got into business. Because one of the things that they teach us in business is if you want to grow as a person, if you want to grow your income, if you want to become just better in terms of your life and improve your quality of life, you got to you gotta improve yourself and you've got to grow. And one of the things that they've taught us is to continually growing by reading books, you know, listening to podcasts, you know, peaking the brains or picking the brains of successful people because no matter how successful you are there's always somebody who's going to be more successful than you there's always who's going to be there's always going to be somebody smarter than you there's always going to be somebody more athletic than you there's always going to be somebody better that than you at something so don't ever feel like oh i have to be the best i mean it's good to have the mentality but just know that there's always going to be somebody better than you at some point or in some area of your life so if you constantly are put off by that you're never going to go anywhere you know what i mean because some people limit themselves because they think that oh you know i'm never going to be able to attain this goal because somebody's already done it no matter whatever you're thinking of somebody at some point has already done it so just know that even though somebody has done it they haven't done it your way because each and every individual is different everybody brings something different to the table so just continue to grow and one of the things one of the key concepts of this commentary that i want to bring up is that whenever i have the time when i'm not doing something extremely busy where i have to have a lot of concentration or focus i'm constantly growing myself and what am i doing by growing myself what are some of the things that i'm doing to grow myself well one of the things if i have the free time and i'm not really obligated to an activity is i'll try to read some books and i never understood the concept of reading books people say that the smartest people in the world are those that read books now i don't mean like read twilight or read harry potter or you know lord of the ring books those are great but self-improvement books if you're religious or even if you're not religious um, something that will definitely help you in that growth of self-development is uh, a book by Joel Osteen that I'm reading currently. It's called Think Better, Live Better. Um, a lot of key concepts in there have helped improve my life and a lot of things that can be applied to help that stress level go down. Um, another way that I kind of de-stress and you know improve myself is listening to podcasts. This is what I'm going to be a huge advocate for. Um, for a long time now and recently you know as of like a year ago i've been listening to a lot more podcasts before i never really paid attention to podcasts i'm like they were always there they just never really interested me but i've always um tuned into podcasts and learned something and you know whether that's going to work going to school um just instead of listening to music 
Um, try listening to a podcast. You're going to learn something different. Um, going to the gym. When I'm at the gym before, I used to listen to a lot more music than I do now. Um, instead, I'm listening to podcasts. Imagine that. At the gym, listening to podcasts. When I have time around the house, if I'm doing like dishes or if I'm doing laundry or if I'm doing something that's really not really heavily concentrated where I have to think too much, I'm listening to podcasts. You know, I'm listening to uh, YouTube videos that have helped uh, in the self-development category. So just kind of keep those things in mind that those resources are out there for you guys and it's time that we utilize them. So that's basically the concept of today's commentary. I want to be a little more personal with you guys and just relate to you guys in just kind of everyday stuff and where we can kind of help each other. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is GCP and I am signing off. Thank you.